Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a great week so far. All right, today we are going to talk about automatic saves because I know you want to have complete control over your automatic saves. Oh yeah, those are the saves that are happening behind the scenes. Those are the ones you have to kind of sit and wait for and I want you to have control over those. All right, now we love automatic saves because if things go badly, and let's face it, every once in a while, things go badly in AutoCAD, oh yeah, it happens. We like having that file, that automatic save file to rescue us. Oh yeah, all right, so let's take a look. Okay, I'm gonna do a right click to go into options because that's the way I like to go into options. I don't know about you. And we're gonna go to open and save. And here, right here, is where we can control our automatic save. It defaults to 10 minutes between saves. All right, so if you'd like to live on the edge, you can make that number higher. Or if you're a nervous Nelly, you can make that number lower. Or if you are completely insane, you can just turn that off and completely live on the edge. <laughs> but do not turn it off. I beg you, please don't turn it off. We need that, all right? You need to be patient. You should just always have that set. There's also a system variable called save time. If you prefer, you can see that right there. You can use that instead. All right, so if you have a set to 10, that means worst case, you could lose nine minutes and 59 seconds worth of your hard work. Worst case, that's not too bad. All right, so it's up to you what you want to set it to. So what happens? Where do these automatic saves go to? What are these automatic saves? They go to this directory. If you go to files, you will see that there is an automatic save location directory. It's kind of a bizarre directory. In fact, it's a hidden directory and it's hard to get to it. So I kind of recommend that you might want to think about giving it a different location. You can get to it, you can key it in, or you can tell it to show all of your directories, including hidden directories, to get to it. Um, or you could just give it a directory it can actually find. It's up to you. So I, earlier, because I care about you, <laughs> I went to this temporary directory. And you can see in here, I have my automatic save, my auto save files. What do they look like? They have an extension of SV dollar sign. You're like, Lynn, what am I going to do with a file that has an extension of SV dollar sign? What good are those? Well, guess what? Those are just join files in disguise. Oh, yeah, they're join files in disguise. So you can take those files, you can rename them so they have an extension of DWG, and you can use them just like join files. So let's say somebody comes in in the middle of the night and they kidnap your join files and they kidnap your backup files. You still have your SV dollar sign files because let's face it, who's going to think to kidnap those files, <laughs> right? Hopefully nobody's kidnapping any of your files. But if it happens, you still have your SV dollar sign files. Just rename them so they have a file type of DWG and they are actual join files. Once again, worst case, if you are using that default setting in 10 minutes, they are only 9 minutes and 59 seconds behind. So they do come in handy. All right, so I'm going to pop back over to AutoCAD very quickly. Let's go back over here. And if I go back op over to Open and Save, um, if you do a manual save, incidentally, so if I do a save after 5 minutes, it will restart that automatic save process. So it will do an additional 10 minutes. It's not going to do another save automatic save five minutes later. So it, re it starts the, the timer all over again, just a heads up for you on that. And then in two more weeks, I'm gonna come back to you and talk to you about this incremental save percentage. Oh my gosh, I bet you can hardly wait. But this controls how long it takes when you do those automatic saves, or any save for that matter. Maybe you wanna speed up your saves. Maybe you get paid by the hour, you wanna slow them down. I'm gonna talk to you about the incremental save percentage. Oh my gosh, can you wait for two weeks for that? Probably not. You probably can't wait. <laughs> All right, set your automatic save to a number that you feel comfortable with. And don't forget that those SV dollar sign files are actually join files. Oh yeah, don't you feel smarter already? I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.